Hey, this is Nate. Just wanted to get this video recorded for you. Thank you for reaching out to me on the Detailer Buddies. Um, this, you know, you left me a link to the Facebook page, so I'm not sure if you have a website or not. But I will still give you some pointers on what can be done with a website. If you don't have one, I definitely recommend getting one done. Um, realistically, you're not going to compete with the guys in your area if you don't have a website where people can find you. You know, the Facebook page is good, but that's just kind of a secondary thing. You do have 86 people on there that like you at 88 followers. I don't know, maybe those two extra guys are like haters or something. Not sure why they wouldn't just hit the like button too. But anyway, I'll kind of give you a little bit about what we like to do. We'll start by looking at this website here. Um, Google looks for three things, basically. They look for content, they look for citations, and they look for backlinks. And content, they want to have about 1,500 words here on the home page and 500 to 750 on the back page. And as you can see, these guys are lacking way on that. They probably got two or 300. Um, definitely something that we could beat out. You know, go over here to the next one. A lot of the sites I've been looking at today, I ended up getting 153 responses to those messages that I put in the group. So I've been looking at a lot of these the last couple of days. But, um, you know, they don't have a lot of content on theirs either. So it's something that's super easy to beat out. Um, Google can't see all the fancy pictures. Google doesn't care what your website looks like. Google cares that your website has relevant information to what people are searching for. So when they type in auto detailing St. Louis, they want to know that this page is about auto detailing in St. Louis. So all Google can see is the content, which is why you want to have about 1500 words on that home page. Um, the other thing that we look at are your citations. Your citations are what get you into this map pack, which is the first thing that shows up. Um, you have a Google, Google My Business page and the citations are the same business name, address, and phone number that are on your Google My Business page listed in multiple directories across the internet. Um, there's Merchant Circle, BBB, YP.com, Yelp, hundreds and thousands of them that you can get. And those are what help you get up into this map pack. So with that, I've got a tool that we use that kind of goes in here and talks about the different um, citations that the people have. You know, this guy's got nine, this guy's got 35, but there's hundreds of them out there. It's a matter of going out, finding the directories, you know, entering your information. Most of them are free to do. It just takes a lot of time. Um, the other thing that we look at are their backlinks. Backlinks are a popularity contest. You can go out to different blogs and you know auto detailing related pages that you can comment and post on. Um, not necessarily in Facebook, but you know the, like the actual blogs and things like that. You can go read the comments. You know, put in, you know, write a little review of your own, put a link back to your website, and that's a backlink. Um, it's a popularity contest. You know, Google likes you to have a lot of them. Um, you know, these guys have 160 and they're still ranking on the first page, but these guys, they have 1100. We can go in here with this tool and actually look at where they have these backlinks. And we could go in and try to find those same backlinks for you. Some of the citations, you know, like this is yellow pages directories. Um, some of those citations actually give you backlinks and some of them don't, but there's also the blog comments and a few other ways to get the backlinks. The reason that the content is important, I'll go back and show you that, kind of skipped over that part. That's why these are practice videos. But um, these guys are ranking for 488 keywords. So if you go in here and look, you can actually see what those keywords are and where they rank for them. So Auto Detailing St. Louis, they're in the number one position. There's 200 people that search that and 71 of them are going to this website. Car Detailing St. Louis, 250 people a month are searching for that. They're in the fourth position and they're only getting 26. So that right there will show you kind of the, the huge difference between the number one spot and the number four spot. Um, more searches here, but because they're in the fourth spot, less people are looking at it. This number one position gets about one third of all traffic that comes in with that keyword looking. So that's, that's the type of things that we want to have for you. Um, we want to have the, you know, auto detailers, St. Louis, auto detailing, St. Louis, Missouri. Those are all keywords where people, 
you know, they don't know who you are, but they find you because of the keywords. You know, this AMG mobile detailing, I wouldn't even count that because that's their company name. If they're typing that in, they already know who you are. But that's kind of my quick review on things you can do with the website to get it up and running, hit it a little bit better. Um, if you ever need any help, please give me a call, 210-383-8401, or hit me up here on Facebook. I'll talk to you later, and thank you for your time.